My name is James Baxter. I'm a detective. But you already knew that from the title. What you don't know is what I'm capable of. I can go places the cops wouldn't dare go. I can uncover the dirty secrets everyone tries to hide. My latest assignment? A stolen Pokemon X game. The single most repulsive crime on the face of the earth. I was sitting in my office looking out into the city, just minding my own business, when suddenly a poor, poor soul wandered into my office, definitely crying his eyes out. Hey James, I, uh, I think I need your help. Detective. Right. Detective Baxter. He was so confused that he couldn't remember formalities. I, uh, I think I misplaced my, uh, my Pokemon X game. Misplaced, Benji? Or stolen! Uh, no, just, just misplaced. Um, look, if you could just look around for it and look for it anywhere. What a tragedy. Whatever it takes, Benji. Whatever it takes. Thanks. Poor delusional Benji. Clearly he's in denial, telling himself that it's not that important. Well, it is important. This is a man's video game we're talking about here. Levels are at stake. Not a moment to lose. I started my search with the most obvious of suspects. Someone who was eyeballing Benji's new game since day one. Gabriel Drexler. Hey Gabe, what's up? You know what's up, you lousy milk drinker. I'm in the middle of a video game. Look, I just need to ask you a few questions. And then I'll- Bait it, dwarf hugger. I ain't got time for you. Okay, that's it. Listen here, Tubby. You can call me a milk drinker because I drink milk. Whole milk, in fact. You can even insult my mother behind my back. I never actually... <laughs> but when you call me a dwarf hugger, that's going too far. Now, where is it? What? what? The game. What game? You know what game. I don't know what you're talking about. Ben's Pokemon X game. What, what, what are you talking about? You wanted it so bad that you stole it. You are eyeballing it up the day he got it in the mail for his birthday. And I know how you did it. But I didn't. Quiet, you. Now, time for a flashback. Benji comes up all giddy and happy because he got the new game from his parents on his birthday. Now, you were playing Skyrim, weren't you? You saw him open it ferociously and play it joyously. You wanted in on that, didn't you? So the second he left it alone to go eat lunch, you snuck over there and swiped it before he noticed you moved a thumb muscle on your controller. How do you like that? Okay, it's true. I played, uh, and I envied his game. I've been playing through Skyrim so much. I did everything that I could. You know, I just needed something new to play. I did go over to look at the game, but I didn't steal it. It wouldn't be right for me to do that. I swear it. I don't believe you. I'd never do that. I swear by the gamer's code. I wanted to call him a liar. But I couldn't. The gamer's code is unbreakable. A sacred trust. Even I knew that. According to the gamer's code, section 3, paragraph 5, if a man swears he didn't do it, he didn't do it. This doesn't make any sense. If Gabe didn't take the game, then who did? Of course! James? Oh, Benji. Thank goodness you're all right. Of course I'm all right. Hey, listen very carefully. I need you to think long and hard about this. Did you lend Alex Fitz your game? Yeah, why? Wait. Hold on, Benji. Hold on. Hello, Alex. James? What? What's going on here? What the hell? Oh. Ow. Ow. You know what you Ow. did, and now you're gonna pay for it. Okay, look. I know I said I'd pay the full 15% tip, but... Oh, cut I the said... crap! Did you really think you'd outrun justice? Justice never tires! Okay, well, James, James, okay, let's just calm down for a second. Oh, that's detective James Baxter, you criminal scum! 
Cripple scum? Don't you play dumb with me, Fitz. I caught you red-handed playing Ben's game. Admit it. You stole it! You're insane! Am I? Or have I just caught you in your own web of lies? What? I know you stole the game. And I know how you did it, too. He lent you his Pokemon game so that you could try it out. Once you tried it, you had to have it. It was too much fun. But it was too hard for you, wasn't it? So you went and bought yourself a game guide to get through the story mode, like a rookie would. That's not true. Oh, isn't it? Okay, you caught me. I did buy a guide for the game. Aha! But I also bought my own copy of the game, James. What? Look in the book, there's a receipt. I've been using it as a bookmark, I swear. You're clean. For now, don't leave town. What? What? Are, aren't you gonna untie me? Who could have done it? Who could engineer a plot so twisted, so messed up, so unnecessarily difficult that only I, James Baxter, detective, could solve this case? I don't understand. I've checked everywhere I could think of. I've cross-referenced everyone's story, and I've crossed out all the names on the list. Except one. Think about it. Who was the only one who had access to Ben's video game 24-7? Who is the only one who knew what lengths I'd go to find it? Who was following the case step by step right behind me? And who knew that I would eventually catch up to him? It was you! Benji? What happened? You tell me. I'm getting calls saying that you're interrogating our friends for no reason. Next, I find you on the ground, punching yourself in the face. What's going on? I had him, Benji. I really had him this time. But, but he disappeared. No, no he didn't. No, I'm serious. He was here. And I was going to eat your game back. What gives? Snap out of it, James. You were beating yourself up the whole time. So what you're saying is... I stole your game? Well, I, I wouldn't quite say stole. No, makes perfect sense. It was me the whole time. I'm the one who stabbed my friend in the back. And I know just how I did it, too. Stop, stop, no more flashbacks. What? This whole thing is ridiculous. The accusations, the flashback, even this black and white effect you have going on, it's really stupid. I, I really thought it helped to set the mood. That's not the point. Did you even bother to check your coat pocket? My coat pocket? <laughs> of course I checked my coat pocket. What do I look like, some kind of idiot? Check your pocket. <laughs> Why? Check your pocket. All right. But how? I don't understand. Look, James, it's simple. I let you borrow the game a couple nights ago because you were really bored. You probably just forgot to give it back to me. That's all. So, no evil plot? No, nothing that sinister. But can you please apologize to our friends? Uh, uh, that's a face. Well, there you have it. May not have been my best moment as a detective, but in the end, I did find my friend's video game. And in the end, don't the ends justify the means? No.